My name is Humaira Hussain. I am one of the participating artists for the exhibition called Healing Through Colors. My art is all about healing. It's about positive energy. It's about how you relate to the people in today's world. A lot of things are happening which are negative, but my art always is about giving a very good vibe in which the energy is felt by looking into it and you feel it once you have it when you own this painting you feel that connection with the nature the element of environment is also huge in my paintings you will see birds you will see animals you will see life there's a communication that happens the process keeps on building again and again and it's very intriguing because the more you submerge into my art you feel connected to nature the environment so in this painting if you look very carefully and go into details you will see a little of a, um, I've used uh, natural flowers and leaves onto it and which can be felt uh, this painting behind is called Blossoming Fantasia. This is one of my most recent painting that I've done. Here, uh, it's very visible that you can see the, uh, the birds and the flowers and butterflies, but still it's in an abstract form. They're not gone into the uh, like detailing effect that you, I could start making the strands and all that. And this is the first time that I've made on such a bigger scale. Usually they are very small. So this is an experiment and I think if the viewers like it, I'll make more pieces on this kind of an art. Hi, my name is Amol Kadam and uh, I'm originally from India, but I have been in uh, UAE for the last 15 years now. My education was in applied arts, so I finished my BFA and after that I wanted to explore how human mind reacts with design as well as different forms, colors and textures. So I did my HCI which is Human Computer Interaction course. Uh, through that actually I got into digital and uh, design. I explored my options in, when it comes to user experience and through my art uh, what we see around here uh, the collection is called Weathered Walls. And Weathered Walls is basically my inspiration that, that came from my travels and where I have come across different walls and I get mesmerized by those textures, those forms and how that wall represents those all those years that it has seen and it has still weathered those uh, storms and rainy seasons and every season that, that the nature has thrown at the wall. And also humans have thrown whatever uh, you know, they can throw at the wall. But the wall is still standing and um, these pieces that you would see around here are actually reflection of those walls and uh, I have tried to bring those walls to these uh, onto those canvases and I want these uh, pieces to actually put all of us in that relaxing state of mind that serenity and tranquility that we need in today's busy lives this last few months of uh, lockdown has given me uh, that focus and interest back into art and I could spend more time exploring my passion. People say meditation is an art. I also believe that art is meditative. So for me, art has always been a state of mind that puts me in a meditative uh, form. My artworks actually are, um, uh, it's, a, it's a process that I, I follow. Uh, it starts with creating textures with sand and different materials and followed by uh, a layer of acrylic uh, paint and my, the last part that you see is, is where uh, everything comes together which is actually the, uh, the final layer uh, of, the, uh, of the paint. So that is the process that I follow, however this is one of the techniques that I wanted to explore when it comes to this collection and uh, in future uh, I hopefully will bring some new techniques and uh, new processes uh, to my art. Hi, my name is Anupavara and I'm an intuitive abstract artist who loves to create. Art has always been a passion of mine since I was a very young age and over the last few years I've taken it up now more seriously and it's just become a way of life for me. I've been mesmerized by colour since a very young age. I guess having an Indian heritage and also living the first few years of my life in Africa 
I've always been surrounded by so much vibrant colour and pattern. So um, I guess a lot of what I do relates back to my early childhood. And when I paint now, I do feel like the inner child in me comes out to play. It's a time where I get to be free, um, dance, sing, and flap my arms around and just have a good time on the canvas. Being an intuitive artist for me means following your intuition. It's for me when you, you let go of that analytical mind and you follow the little voice inside of you that lights you up. It tells you what colour to pick up next and what tool to use. And it's a way of letting go, um, being bold and being committed to your next move, but not being um, attached to the outcome. Intuitive art for me is all about the process and not necessarily knowing about where the painting is going or the final outcome. It's, it's a way in which allows me to be free and have fun in the process. When I paint, my inner child comes out and that's why I use so much bold colours, vibrant colours. Um, that playful nature that I, I had as a child is, is what comes out when I paint. Each painting has been guided intuitively and if that means painting with my hands, I do so. I get thoroughly messy through the process and that just adds to the fun and it just adds to the texture on the canvas. So acrylic paints, which is what I predominantly use, is great for this because it's very forgiving. Um, one, one stroke leads to another, one colour leads to another and I just allow myself to to go through it intuitively and if I find it maybe it's not moving in the direction I want acrylic paint is perfect because it dries fast and it's it's forgiving it allows me to to go over it and maybe take the painting in a different direction